Hi, my name is Janvi. I'm in my second year in civil engineering here at UBC Vancouver. Hi, my name is Madison. I'm a fourth year mechanical engineering student at UBC's Okanagan campus. John V and I are both UBC engineering students. I'm at the Okanagan campus and John V's at the Vancouver campus. We're going to talk about our different experiences and reasons for deciding why UBCO or why UBC Van. I live on off campus this year, 20 minutes from UBC, so I just take a bus to school in the morning and then I take a bus back home from the bus loop at around 6 to 7 when I have to go back home from all the classes and work on campus. So my commute to school is pretty short. It's only a 10 minute walk or a two minute drive. I usually just walk down because it gives me some fresh air and also the view is beautiful. I usually have three classes every day and for my, mom, for my morning class, which is at 10 a.m. for civil to 30. It's a solid mechanics course. There are around 150 students in that class. And my another favorite class is EOSC 210, which is Earth and Ocean Sciences for Engineers where we study about rocks, earthquake engineering, landscape engineering. There are about 150 to 200 students in that class as well. The class sizes at UBCO vary depending on what year you're in and also what program you're in. The class sizes are usually about 200 to Easy. max 400 students. I only had a couple classes that had 400 and that was in my general first year, so courses that the entirety of engineering was taking. In the later years of your degree, the class sizes tend to get smaller. Some of my classes only have about 30 people while some have about 200. The tutorial and lab sections are typically about 20 students, so significantly smaller than your class sizes. In my second year here at UBC in civil engineering, I joined CSE, which is the Canadian Society for Civil Engineers, a UBC chapter, as an events coordinator. And apart from that, I also joined Women in Engineering as VP Communications Engagement and plan social events for the members of the community of Women in Engineering community. The, another community that I am part of, it's engineering undergraduate society as a council secretary. As huge EUS is, it gives us a lot of opportunities to involve ourselves on campus and I feel these clubs and societies and student chapters really form what we are as students at UBC. There are lots of extracurriculars at UBCO that you can be part of. All of the clubs we have at UBCO can be found on the Students' Union Okanagan website. But personally, I am part of the UBCO Mountain Riders. Another organization that I'm part of is the Engineering Society, and so I help plan social events for the students. So lip sync battles, study nights, winter formal, all sorts of events like that. Vancouver is a beautiful city, and UBC is an amazing campus. I think I spend more time on campus than I spend at my home because I love this campus and there's something for everyone here. If you want to go out to beach, there is a beach for you. You do have the Nitobi Memorial Garden which is really pretty. The Rose Garden is really pretty. It's home away from home for me. That, that's what sets us apart. I feel like home when I'm on campus, even if I'm in a classroom. It's calming for me to stay on campus. That's why I love the UBC Vancouver campus. One of the main things that I love about UBCO is how close to nature we are. We are literally surrounded by mountains. I really like the outdoors and I wanted to have easy access to hiking, swimming, as well as I wanted to learn how to snowboard. The ski hill is only a 40 minute drive away. I can go up there and ski in the morning and then come back and finish my homework at night. In the summer, the Okanagan gets pretty hot. There's lots of lakes, waterfalls, hikes, and orchards to explore. Moving all the way from India to Canada was definitely a huge leap for me. But I think moving to Vancouver was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. Because I absolutely love the city, I love the people, I love the food, and the fact that there are so many different people, so many different communities, but all of them live together in this one place. That makes, that sets it apart, and that makes it so much more beautiful. UBC, uh, for me, is home away from home. And I think the best part about being a UBC engineering student is the numerous opportunities this faculty and the city the campus offers to students. It really sets it apart and makes it all the more, all the more fun and enjoyable for us to 
learn and grow as a student. So there were many reasons that I decided to go to UBCO. I really wanted to stay within BC as a lot of my family's from BC and I didn't want to move too far away for commutes home during Christmas and in the summer. Number two is the Kelowna city size. I was from a small town and I wasn't ready to live in such a large city like Vancouver. Number three was the location. I mean, the lakes, the mountains, the hot summers, and the ski hills close by. It sounded like a perfect place for me to live. UBC also had a great reputation and I knew many people from UBCO that were really happy with their decision. And my last reason was that I really wanted a smaller student body. I find that I learn better with smaller groups and smaller class sizes, as well as I get better relations with my professors and my TAs. Now in my fourth year, I walk around and I know so many of the students and the faculty. It really makes you feel like you're part of the community. A combination of these factors is why I chose UBCO and it definitely was the right decision for me. UBC uh, for me is home away from home. And I think the best part about being a UBC engineering student is the numerous opportunities this faculty and the city, the campus offers to students. It really sets it apart and makes it all the more, all the more fun and enjoyable for us to learn and grow as a student. I hope this video was able to help you make a decision on whether UBC Vancouver or UBCO is a better fit for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer.